we will investigate simple harmonic motion. You will need the following equipment. You will need the IO lab, the track, some springs, the triangle connectors, a ruler, and also a scale. Then attach the IO lab to the track via spring. Remember to set the track at a high angle of inclination to reduce friction. Then we give it an initial amplitude and then let go by recording with the wheel sensors. In the IO lab software, you, will sh you should be able to observe the simple harmonic motion for the position, velocity, and acceleration sensors. From this, we can extract the oscillation frequency and combine with the mass of the IO lab you measured you should be able to find the spring constant of the spring you used. Note that this part is only for the FIS-131 because they have 3 hours instead of 2. Friction is a damping force and is observable when the angle of inclination of the track is lower. We repeat the same thing as before by setting the angle of the track to about 60 to 70 degrees and record with the accelerometer sensor. This will produce a similar oscillatory motion as before, but with the amplitude becoming smaller and smaller. By looking at how the amplitude reduces over time, you should be able to extract the damping coefficient. First, we find two identical springs, and using the method in part one, you will check the spring constant for each. Then either placing them in series or in parallel, you can find the effective spring constant of the spring system. Finally, for the FIS-131 students only, you can turn the hook attachment in the clockwise direction to reduce its length, and you can study the spring constant um, as a function of the length of the spring.